ZC Overbrights is found in the utility category, and this is a utility in every sense of the word. If I apply it to an HDR image, this is an environment map that I got from HDRI Haven, it's just going to highlight the parts of the image that are outside the standard 8-bit color depth pixel values. So I'm working at 32 bits per channel with an actual HDR image that has 32 bits per channel information contained within it. But if I open up my Lumetri scopes and we look at the waveform of this image, I'll turn the effect back off. You can see that there is some data up here that corresponds to these bright studio lights that are getting clipped outside this 8-bit 255 max value brightness and just turning to pure white. Now, if I add, say, an exposure effect to this HDR, I could turn the exposure down and I could really bring all of those clip values down. Now they're all within range. And if I zoom in, you can really see the detail of the bulbs producing that light. Without the exposure, it's just blown out. So what the CC Overbrights utility effect is designed to do is just point out where your overbright parts of your image are and make them very easy to see. We have some very simple controls for the channel that we're operating on and the clip color. Now, if I open this menu up, we have six options that are actually just two sets of three with different display modes. So RGB clip is default, and what this is going to do is replace any overbright pixels with this solid clip color. I could change this to any color that I want. It doesn't have to be bright red, but that is really easy to see. I could also change this to lightness clip, or the luminance clip. And this really doesn't make any difference on my particular image because the RGB values all pretty much are equal on these overbrights. But if you had something that was overbright on just the red, green, or blue channel, then you could see that individually using the RGB clip mode. Now we also have RGB lightness and luminance solid modes. So if I switch to RGB solid, this is basically going to fill everything but the overbrights with black. So we're isolating the overbrights. And if I zoom in again, you can see all of that light detail comes back. So not only is it removing everything that is not considered overbright or clipped beyond that 8 bit per channel depth, it's reducing the exposure of those overbrights so that we can actually see all of the detail within it. Again, I can change this to lightness solid or luminance solid, and it really doesn't make a difference in this particular image. But that is all the CC Overbrights effect does. It's truly a utility for just identifying and isolating those overbright pixels. And that's everything you need to know about CC Overbrights. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.